Hey there, everybody. Hello and welcome to Relaxed Mail. I am standing in the abandoned gym of the Pottsville High School, located in Pottsville, Texas. Now, <laughs> reason why am I standing in a rundown basketball gym? Well, there's a reason behind that, and that's what I'd like to talk to you about this week. <laughs> Hey there, everybody. Hello and welcome to Relaxed Mail. All right, so we're in the abandoned gym. Uh, and the, uh, right next door to it is the abandoned school, and I'll be showing you through some of the sights of it also. Um, what does this have to do with you? A lot, really. Uh, there is, uh, what makes an abandoned building an abandoned building? Well, that would be no people. Um, and what happens to a building when it doesn't have anybody living in it? Well, in all reality, it acts like a, a person itself. It starts to kind of become decrepit and decays and, and falls in on itself. You start give, developing weaknesses in the walls and the, and the ceiling comes in and eventually you work to, you've got down just the foundation and the foundation often will, from time to time, will just give in. And if the foundation gives in, then the whole building falls over. And there's a whole lot of, of uh, a whole lot of downfall. All of a sudden, you start getting busted windows, and your ceiling and the roof starts to leak, which then destroy breaks down the ceiling, and everything starts to fall down, and your paint starts to peel, and it just it, everything starts to look ratty. And the rattier it looks, the less uh, time people want to spend with it, and the less time people want to spend with it means that the more dilapidated it becomes. Um, you start getting holes in the floor. You start getting, you know, everything starts falling apart. You start getting places where you don't really want to tread because you don't know if that's the, uh, that uh, material is going to hold you. That, is that floor still strong enough to hold you? Not having people in your life, and, and a lot of people these days want to embrace their um, embrace their their whole inner a lot of people want to embrace their inner introvert and they you see people saying you know they've got shirts that uh, say you know I used to be a people person but people ruined it you know a lot of this today's society is becoming a lot more standoffish to other people and that's a big problem because you have you need to have the the connection the interlinking of people and communities and family and friends and everything else that goes together with that yeah it's good to have a good friend or a, a close friend and a best friend it's good to have a good friend and a close friend your best friends and all this other stuff but it's not just those people who are closest to you. It's those people who are close to you, but not as close. They're the, the co-workers. They're your, uh, the neighbors in your, on your street, the neighbors in your neighborhood. They're the neighbors in uh, the people who are also in your town. Everybody needs everybody else. We are a, a tribal, a, we have a herd mentality in a way. Look at how kids in uh, in college act when all of a sudden they don't get something they don't like. They you know they blow their mind and they're screaming and hollering and throwing a fit and they're rolling cars over when they win a win a basketball tournament. Um, they you know there's just so much that happens when a hive mind clicks in. That is an example. Now those examples are, are examples of of. A hive or a herd mentality going wrong but there are also hive and uh, herd mentalities that show up and are, are actually a good thing good example is uh, after the tornadoes that we've been having uh, in Oklahoma they get out and they start searching for uh, to see if there's anybody that's hurt and they start looking through the rubble and they start helping each other clean up that that neighborhood 
even if they may have had a squabble and they've been button heads, you know, you got the neighbor who's fighting over whose tree's roots are in their yard and things like that. Something happens, uh, something of a tragedy or a, uh, a problem happens, that community comes together. They forget their differences. A great example is America after the, uh, what happened to America after 9-11, after we had lost the World Trade Centers. Um, it didn't matter what your politics was. It didn't matter what your, uh, what your belief system was. You came together, we, we bonded, we uh, became stronger because we were a community again. We all got our eye blackened that day. And then after the short time after that, several months from there, you know, we started to drift away from that community and all of a sudden we started branching off into our little smaller parts because we, to be that comfortable, you have to kind of do some stuff that is, or to be that close together, you have to do some stuff that's actually kind of uncomfortable. You have to, you know, you hear some stuff that you don't, may not agree with. And so you may end up, you know, you're going to branch off and you start grouping with people who uh, do agree with you. But what happens is when you break apart and you start fanning out and people start coming to smaller and smaller groups, which is what we've got happening right now, all of a sudden you start becoming you as yourself. If you don't, you don't have as many people influencing your life, you don't have as many interactions, your sense of self starts to become a lot more empty, as you can hear by the echo. Your experiences in life, your fulfillment in life starts to become a little more run down. All of a sudden you start getting the examples of broken windows. You start missing a window or two. You may start getting, you know, something, you got some other problems. You've got anxiety, which are, would be a good equivalent to the rain dripping in through the, uh, coming in through the roof. Instead of being deflected like it needs to, it starts to affect you. It starts coming in and start, once that starts coming in, all of a sudden you start getting uh, holes in the floor and you start, your, the flooring starts to kind of rot because the rain's hitting it and it's always hitting it and it stays, it gets really damp and wet and soggy and then it dries out and then it gets sand, damp and soggy and it dries out and that rinse and repeat cycle that we go through, whether it's the snow that comes in or the rain or the hail and other stuff that comes in that when wood gets wet and then it dries out and wet and dries out it weakens the bonds of the fibers and so the wood starts to decay and it falls apart and then you've got weak spots in your floor you want to face those uncomfortable instances those instances and, and events and occurrences that you know you're not really a whole lot of a big great big fan of because you well, know, you know this, you really don't agree with what your aunts and uncles think. Um, they're, they're Trump supporters and you're not, or vice versa. You've got, you know, there's, there's always something, there's always a, going to be a line of contention. Nobody agrees with everything, uh, everybody for everything. Uh, and you really honestly don't want that because that becomes really boring and you want to talk about having a foundation crumble and fall. That's what America's built on, is that we are our, our society is built on the fact that I don't have to agree with you and you don't have to agree with me. We can talk it out in an amicable way and in doing so we still may not agree with each other but we both become stronger because of it. We have become so adverse to, to uh, discomfort nowadays that there's an opioid crisis. We are so uh, adverse to discomfort that we have people who are, you know, they're doing anything they can to buffer and wrap themselves in something to numb themselves from life. And that's not a good way to, to live your life. You don't grow. You don't develop. You become, you don't become a beautiful, fulfilled and loving home. You become a run down ramshackle building that you're not really sure where can I walk without disrupting and breaking through on something and causing a lot of pain and, 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 and damage. You worry about 
can I walk on this spot? Is this, is this going to be strong enough to hold me? Or am I going to, you know, am I going to fall through the roof? These are some of the things that happen, and these are some of the problems that come about. And that's one reason why I started making uh, How I Have a Mastermind, so that we can, us men can get together, and we can talk through things, and we can help each other grow and become stronger. And the only way we're able to do that is if we, if we meet and we talk it out and we help each other. Because there's things I won't know that you may know and there's things you may know that I don't. And so there's, you can go over to, to relaxedmail.com and go to masterminds. And you'll see that the, we've, I've got a couple masterminds available that you can, uh, you can view and, and join. And, and we, can, uh, we can become a, a stronger group of men together. So, in closing, um, first off, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Um, and uh, just, I've been having a heyday uh, this past week, uh, walking around in, uh, in Pottsville, getting myself recentered. I've got, uh, we're going to be talking about finding your, your, your quote unquote happy place, um, finding a spot that you feel most fulfilled and feel, feel most happy and we're going to be talking about that here uh, here soon that'll be actually the next video that be, that comes up after this so uh, thank you very much for uh, watching the video uh, please if you like this video click like if you like this channel I could really use a subscription we're, we're growing uh, each each subscriber is a hard one and I am so grateful th and thankful for each of each and every one of you who do click the like and the subscribe button if you really 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 like the uh, the channel then go ahead and click that notification bell icon that way we can you will know every time I post a new video up so anyhow guys I thank you again you have a great and wonderful blessed week and we will see you next Friday so till then